Good night, everyone, and welcome to Walking in His Word. I am Kwame Thomas, one of your local leaders in the Andrews District of Churches. Now, if you have been following us for forever, let me just say that, or even if you're just, just beginning to follow, it, follow us, we just want to remind you that you are watching what? Can we call it the premier Bible study this, in, in this side of the, in this neck of the wood, the side of the vineyard? I can say um, definitively that we are looking at women in scripture and as would have been stated earlier on, we are going to be having one, two, three persons in your camera and one in the background. You will hear from me, Kwame Thomas. You will hear also from Sister Erica Beecher and Sister, Sister Jessica Jones. And the voice that you will hear in the background is Sister Chanel Phillips. So without further ado, welcome to Walking in His Word. Let us just have a brief word of prayer. Eternal Father and our God, as we come before your presence, we just want to thank you for the opportunity that you have given us yet another time to break bread in front of your people, with your people, dear Father. We pray that they would have been edified for having taken part in this and the souls that would hear after be exposed to the information here will be also edified so that you, O oh Father, can be glorified above all. Bless us to this end. Forgive us of our sins. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Ladies. Welcome. How are you? I hope that your week has been good. If it has not been good, I hope it will be awesome from henceforth. How, how are you? I'm good. Uh, my leg was good. Ah, yes. I'm fine. Thanks. Jessica. Warm and dry. <laughs> Warm and dry. That means it's cozy. Right. Okay. And, and Sister Phillips, how are you? I'm doing well. My week has been a little bit busy, but productive, and I'm happy about that. Oh, well, busy is good, you know, yes. especially when busy is productive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, we last, the week before last, we looked at faith and resilience. Um, and then last <coughs> week, we started looking at, what's the topic for, for, for last week? Strength we start and worth. Strength and worth. Um, that's what we started looking at, and we started having a discussion primarily around the woman of Proverbs 31. A lot of gems were uncovered right. from that, um, and lily liver. <laughs> so we, we transitioned to the lily liver person, courtesy of um, Sister Beecher, you know, and we started looking at the whole idea of the judge, what we can learn from the story of Deborah, the judge, and the prophetess. Um, and we remember someone stated in the chat that you, well, I stated that women are in leadership, women have been in leadership, but the extent to which um, is not necessarily as common as men because there are certain responsibilities that God has, our level of authority that God has entrusted to men. And men, as men, we have the opportunity to invite our women folk to share in the responsibility, but ultimately, we are the accounting officers. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't in any way, shape, or form diminish their work nor elevate us above them. So that's what we wanted to establish, and that's where um, Deborah and and um, it was Deborah and, and uh, um, Barak. Well, pardon my my accent is Deborah for where I am, but you know, it's still Deborah and Barak, and um, we heard about the Lily Liver Man. So that was Erica's doing, by the way. So we move on from there. Um, Chanel, you can take us to where you expect us to go. Okay, good evening, everyone. I'm just looking in the chat. Sister D'Angelo is saying happy Monday, and she's looking forward to this evening <laughs> discussion. <laughs> and the, the question that Kwame asked all of us about her week, she said, we just start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, it, it, it leads us to wonder, how is it that you've been tired? <laughs> Um, and, and, and all of the busy the week, the week, nothing of it, it's not stale yet, you know, but. So it goes sometimes. <laughs> all right, so continuing with our topic this evening, strength and worth of women in the Bible. We're going to look at the women who supported Jesus in his ministry. So how did the women who supported Jesus' ministry demonstrate their worth and strength? I think we could ask um, one of the ladies to take that on, you know, to start the ball rolling. I like when they, when, when, when they start it that way, you know. It's exciting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. All right, so one of the women, or I would say 
the one mentioned the most in the Bible um, would be Mary, mm -hmm. Mary Magdalene. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and I believe it's the same Mary out of whom he cast seven, seven demons, demons seven. and the first um, to whom he showed himself as after his resurrection. Correct, Elder? Just about, just about, just about, yes. Right. Go on. So, um, what I appreciated in that story or what resonated with me was that when Mary um, was on her way um, to Jesus' tomb, the fact that <laughs> She couldn't roll away the stone, and there was nobody there to roll away the stone. It didn't stop her. Her level of commitment and focus mm -hmm. on, on serving and, and, and being a disciple of Jesus to the end, that was what um, drove her to to the tomb and it, 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 it also showed some level of belief um, because when Jesus appeared to her and he sent her to go and tell the others, they did not believe. Mm -hmm. They did not believe and I think her strength really came forward in the fact that one, she was going to the tomb to see the body of her Lord or to receive the body, even though the challenge of the stone was there, mm -hmm. that did not stop her. Her level of commitment drove her to make her way to the tomb at that point. Another point that I want to bring out is the worth part of it and the worth from the from the angle of Jesus and how he always sees the opportunity to pull up women yes. in scripture all throughout his ministry you just see time and time again I don't think it's a coincidence that Mary was the first person he showed himself to after his resurrection. Mm -hmm. When he wanted to, I would say, mend the bridge between the Jews and the Samaritans, he chose a Samaritan woman. Look at how he dealt with the woman caught in adultery. Look at how he dealt with the woman who touch the hem of his garment um, all throughout the crowd. And, and, and I, I, I think he knew in all of these instances, he was quite aware of the parties involved and just the issues that they faced, the challenges that they faced. But because, of course, I believe he was going out of his way to highlight or to send a strong message about just how worthy these characters are, um, you know, is, is, is really something worth thinking about, you know. But in particular, Mary Magdalene, quite a character. So, who showed in yes. great strength so, um, you know, on every front. I, I'll agree somewhat. You know, I'll wait until Erica comes in to hear what she has to say about it. But um, I think God, when, when Jesus was here, in his, his role, he was repairer of the bridge. Yes. Right. And he looked or he sought to mend whatever relational issues we had. Because it's difficult for me to say, I love you, who, who I can see. Or, I love God, who I can see. Mm -hmm. I, I can't see, can't see. but I, I, I profess to love you. Um, and I'm mistreating you, and I'm doing all of those things to you. Mm -hmm. And I sometimes forget that I, you are also in the image and likeness of God. Now, when that, 
when that thing happened in in Eden and it's something that I've grappled with a number of times are are someone when it said um all right let's your, go there Elder. Let's, let's go there your, your <laughs> desire your, your desire will be toward your husband uh -huh. but he shall rule over you um i think we sometimes as men have used it as an opportunity to 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 lord it and to lord it over over our women folk and i've looked in the bible and wherever i've seen for example god used babylon mm -hmm. as his vessel to humble israel mm -hmm. but then babylon get hype mm -hmm. and yeah. sought them out, and then sought out <laughs> babylon, that's right you know yeah. so it it's it seemed to presuppose a tussle between mm -hmm. between women and men because the same root word that he used for um your desire shall be toward your husband is the same word he used to describe nimrod when it says nimrod was a great hunter towards god it oh. means that nimrod was a hunter against god mm. all right so it seemed as though there was some tussle so this this thing where we look for equality and equality nowadays means sameness yes it seems as though that would have been predicted. We're equal, but we're not the same. And modern day society tries to tell us that equality means I can do everything that Erica can do and vice versa. What Jesus came to do is to repair and to restore the breach that that would have caused because we can do much more together, together. than we and can do ourselves. apart or by ourselves. So that's it now. Fast forward and we look at that whole we can see strength and we can see worth he showed her what her intrinsic value was because before god we intrinsically we are worth the same yes. all right but there are again now gonna stop saying there are some things that are given to some people at some point in time for them to do a year job this erica and you alone can do it someone placed in the chat that um Mary Magdalene was the first apostle. It depends on how we define apostle. apostle. As apostle means sent. Right. Mm -hmm. She would not have been the first apostle. All right, because there was 70 that was ordained and sent, and then there was 12, 12. who was ordained and sent. Mm -hmm. And then after that, you know, you had the woman at the well. A whole lot of people send, 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 and just send them like telegrams. Just send them well, all I over the place. I would say the first official you know? one. What I would mean... make her official, though? <laughs> in terms of the office of apostle, apostle. Mm -hmm. I think in terms of the office, yeah. Why though? Because Jesus did and rise after because he said yeah, the twelve I mean, before, you know. Remember, you know. This is after his resurrection that he really gave the church a clear mandate, you know. No, he to told go him. into all the world and all right, preach but, the gospel. But if we should say that though, if we should but say that though, he told them to tarry. No, remember, you know, mm -hmm. he told them to tarry until, until they received the Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost, he never yeah. tell them gonna wait. So it would mean that all of them had that commission to go at the same time. It says tarry here in Jerusalem until Pentecost. He never said yeah, that before. Yeah, but think about the message that he gave Mary Magdalene. Touch me not, for I have not yet eh? ascended. No, <laughs> but he said, go and tell the others that, that you saw me. Go. So that's a structural So like we put in a little bit of rubber yes. in that, it, yes. it kind of I mean, I, I, I like out. Mary, and I, I, I see her role. Mm How -hmm. I see Jesus looking at women through, through scripture is, um, Elder John is always saying, I, I don't know, he says people say that the Bible overlooks women, mm -hmm. right? I, I think we overlook women in the Bible, but go on, but yeah, go on, go on, <laughs> right? I understand. And as such, how I see Jesus coming, he's always going to the ones that are overlooked. And, and the ones that, that we I, overlook. The ones that society yeah, overlooks, please. because... So his mission was one of inclusion then. His mission was yeah. one of inclusion. Yeah. Not to say that we are on we, we are on the same level as human beings, but the male role is one of, of priest. Mm -hmm. He is of a higher calling than the woman. The so, woman has her role, don't get it wrong. So so you have women who are obviously there were women in the tribe of Levi. Yes. But mm -hmm. there was never a woman who was assigned as priest. Correct. Never ever. This is correct. Right. So so that, that ties back in um to your point, Elder, where it says that um 
our roles are different, mm -hmm. right? And um, w all of us, we are important. We have a part to play, but we are not the same. And clearly, mm -hmm. the man was given a well-defined role to play. However, I sense, and, and I think I, I have just cause based on how scripture is written, that women were marginalized, were treated less than, um, not so by it, though. No, so not, by not society. By society. Okay. And I think right. that's going to be a yes or no, you know. It, no, but it shows up it when in, in the woman that was caught in adultery. No, you can't have adultery by yourself. No, 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 him put out no, the woman. Him daughter them. Him daughter them. Yes. yes. No, but wait. I, I no, but wait. You. No, no. When I, 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 I was. <laughs> the first time I saw it, no. I was taken aback by him when the men this, came in front of him. Take my daughter no, them. All right. So, so you have found that, right? Mm -hmm. When him said, take him daughter them. Oh. That's on one hand. What about when when Moses, when Caleb's daughters got land? Okay. Okay. And that was and that was when unprecedented at the time. That was. So we say, yes, so was. we say it wasn't All right. another example? because if you when you look at throw that one side, no, okay. The first prophetess that we can think about, where, where could you find her? The first, first prophetess. prophetess, Miriam was a prophetess, Miriam, right. Miriam, Miriam, Miriam. No. One Israel was being led. All right, mm -hmm. so let's call it the supreme leader, the first among equals would have been who. Israel Moses. And mm. then and then who you have? Aaron. And then who you have? Miriam. Miriam. She was in leadership, wasn't she? Yes, she was. All right. And mm. you realize that by there were times where she fought. No. no and there were she wasn't she wasn't by default leader. It's not like, oh yes, relational. She related to Moses. Let me my boss her. No. That wasn't if if anybody was 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 the one who would have get boss, it would have been Aaron because Moses was afraid to speak. <laughs> he stated that he had a lift. It's, and God said, wait, then who make him out? No, and but I, say, think, hey, I think come. Miriam just mm. organically had some clothes, being that the role she played in saving Moses and all of that. I think the, I think the, the, the nation at the time would have read the history mm -hmm. of, Which you know, nation? just... Because I think we need some rubber bands, you know, because it's, it, it's very stretchy, you know. So you're telling me, Sister Erica, that so so when Miriam was a child, um, ostensibly, uh, invariably because of her work, yes, um, and, her she, and her role, she yes. would have been given. The, so who would have been writing down that? So 40 years from now, you know, or 40 it years from now. So you see, me, the generation is the one, story. Yeah, but the one gener the generation not done yet, you know, it's one of the same generation. So, we should, <laughs> so when Moses come back, Moses, you know, so she needs to be one of the leaders of them because she did save you still, you know. Yeah, man. It, it's highly unlikely, but the thing is, you know. And Caleb's think, daughter had to argue, they had to make a point. It wasn't just handed to them. No, what I read is that no, they bring a case and, and, because, and press the case and, and in can, order to get the land. We can, land. can also we can also make the <laughs> argument, you know, because you let's say we call it outlier just for the fun. Let's call those outliers. All of those cases where you had Deborah, you had Holder, you had Esther, mm -hmm. you had Miriam. Mm -hmm. you, me can go on liquor. I'm sure me I got done all of my ten finger. Me forgot bar some more um, finger. I can list about thirty one of them, mm -hmm. if not more. So, it, by our twenty twenty four standards, mm -hmm. women were severely marginalized. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. um, so, so it's different. So, if we practice relativism now, as in we look at the culture for what it is worth. It's highly unlikely or it's difficult for, for us to make a big case to say they were treated differently, yes, but for them to be marginalized, it's, it would be cruel for us to say that because the woman in adultery, the story mm -hmm. started out by saying they were trying to trap Jesus. Because okay, any, right answer, you how any he answer Jesus gave outside of the one devil. outside of the one that he actually okay. delivered, mm -hmm. he would have been wrong. In the same way that when um, they asked him about taxes, mm -hmm. when they asked him about divorce, and the Sabbath, and the mm -hmm. Sabbath mm -hmm. any answer outside of the one that he gave would have put him. He's either doing blasphemy or either doing treason. 
So he had to walk the straight and narrow. So he had Rebecca, he had Silva, he had Rachel. Okay, I call a holy for them, you know. So yes, their lives were different. And the role of the man was always to protect. And whenever you cease to protect, you didn't have a holy for Lily Liver man, so you call him. And a holy for Jelly Bat man. Let's not let that go. <laughs> no. <laughs> so you had a holy for those. Mm -hmm. But it's not a case whereby oh they were overly marginalized and, and they were this and that. So and oh John just put in the group. Mm -hmm. Sarah was treated well. Eve was Adam <laughs> Adam Rebecca, you know, Zilpha, Rachel. Where are the marginalized women here? Let's hear some names. So But well, we're then, not gonna say no all, but there we But if we're not we going to say all, we can enough, carry it up to right here but so then we have enough instances mm -hmm. in the back to show where women were mistreated and treated less than below. for example for example um, when Jesus visited that official's house the, the Mary that washed his feet with her hair isn't it the same yeah, Mary they Magdalene? Yeah, they were sort of showing out. Is it the same Mary Magdalene? No, they were sort of showing out. You have to remember way. what's happening now. If he knew the man or woman that was washing his right. feet. But, but even now, in today's society, if you we had a woman like, yes. like, like that woman yes. washing Jesus' foot, I put it to you, Jessica. Oh, yes. Probably you and or Erica, hopefully not <laughs> any of you in there, but another Jessica and another Erica out there would be saying, yes. hmm, if he knew the kind of woman that know. even if the man them stand up and say it was like you look nice and <laughs> whatever the women are going to be saying if he you knew, knew the kind of woman that was washing his okay, feet okay. So, so that's it so because so you, you know, are saying then that women like, weren't really marginalized <laughs> i'm saying that, that i'm saying? saying that in the same way that we can say people are marginalized no mm -hmm. is the same way that we would have to say they were marginalized then so to single out women because right now when mm -hmm. th there's a big narrative especially in jamaica that that women are marginalized if we should play by that game in jamaica mm -hmm. more than 50 percent of management is female right mm -hmm. less than 50 percent so less than 50 percent is is male so tell me how would, I, how would we put the marginalized and jamaica is among one of about four countries in the world where women there are more women in leadership than men but yet still you're here so sometimes you know what we get in the same we, 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 we perceive women are paid more than men here okay. in Jamaica. Uh, okay, okay. you know report, by the way we can we can find it <laughs> sure <laughs> let me not just talk out of my ears all right, right? <laughs> so 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 what we're trying to say you know mm -hmm. is that quite often we tend to there's this fear and there's this thing that's going around the narrative that's going mm -hmm. around i would tend to latch onto that narrative and say yeah man that's how it is so right now we say oh violence is an altar is at an all-time high in jamaica we might say that but when you look at the stats you say all right so murders are 200 less than last year and it's 300 less than the year before mm -hmm. and wages are all-time low but you have more persons employed now so it's difficult sometimes mm -hmm. what you feel is not necessarily what's real so the stats okay. are saying something other than what's actually happening so so women were and they still are among the trailblazers you know we can't forget that mm -hmm. but it's just that because we live in a system where it's two things it's it's patriarchal agreed all right so the patriarchy is there but the patriarchy exists to protect women you know because it's yes <laughs> it sounds funny but the patriarchy exists to protect women think about it if it wasn't for you guys we're being brutally honest now i might still be in a cave you know we might have skyscrapers but they will still be like caves because your job is to come and look at what i have and say all right then how can i make this a little better and then no, we don't go work how can we, we make this a little better we come in and say mm, this is not right at the same thing <laughs> <laughs> and then over time now i start to work to see how i can all right my life oh, erica smile and watch the smile for me and then we start to compete with the others so so over time you drive competition because and we know we're segued a little bit but when you look at the, the, the stats that exists out there, if you are average, mm -hmm. you are better. You're better than 60% mm -hmm. of us. <laughs> if you are average. Oh. If we are average, we're only better than 20% of you. 
Something around this. We so okay. we exist to please okay. you guys, and yes, that's how we have been doing. So so everything we do is for try I, a for make our wives mm -hmm. life better, or b make our people lives better. Because as far as we're concerned, yes, you are help me, you know. But when we say help me, what do we think that meant? And I don't show, I'm not sure that's the motive all the time. No, because but then there's such a thing as sin. And some some are wicked. And but, uh, what them say if man wicked. Narcissism too. Yeah, but that's on both ends of the spectrum. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so 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 yeah, so if we if we read the Bible and, and judge it based on its own things, it's mm -hmm. difficult for us to say it is overly it's overly centered towards men or towards women. It's literally just showing what was happening at the time and yes. People were, were, were mistreated because there are times when one tribe in Israel would look down on another tribe. You remember when Benjamin uh -huh. had, to, had, to steal, <laughs> had to steal women. So there are a number of things that we have to look at. Mm -hmm. That's what you call stealing? Okay. Well, let's let's, right, let's call so it that. We, we, we're softening up the words here, obviously. But <laughs> go on. Stretching. <laughs> um, so, okay. So based on, on that conversation then, is it then fair to say that the, the women that society would cast off as less than the, the, the chosen women, the ones that mm -hmm. you want to marry, the one that you want to sell off to your neighbor to, to foster good relations and to bring in a good door those are the women the less the, the ones that are not seen by society the, the magdalene was a prostitute the old she, yeah. right the old yeah. cast. is it that the lord is pointing them out and say listen these are people too and they yeah. have value and they have worth um, and so therefore don't cast them out because of some, 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 something they have no control over, which is what life uh, handed them. So when you put it like that, um, the only thing I can say is yes, definitely. Um, because I love the story of the leper, for example. Mm -hmm. um, and, the, and the one at the pool, the man at the pool at Bethesda, mm -hmm. 35 years on the mat, and he had no man to carry him to sure. the pool that was right there. Mm -hmm. um, the, the leper who, in Mark chapter 2, where they had to cut out the roof and drop him down right. as well. All these that story. people mm -hmm. were outcasts. Mm -hmm. They were outcasts, and they had to rely on someone else to get them to where they wanted to go. So if we are going to argue that Jesus is calling and reaching and bringing in the marginalized then definitely all of them because, yeah, because, mm -hmm. because, and then that, yes. that brings us yes. now to, yes. to the point where he says what you have done to the least, least of, of these, these you have, you have done also to done to me mm -hmm. and that fulfills the isaiah 53 where he says that there's nothing comely about him because he wants to identify with the least of us mm -hmm. so that at the end of the day the best of us can't say he, you know he's better than because jesus is the best of us but he identifies with the least of us so he creates that's the closest you get to to, to equality being sameness okay so um, so that's it you know since everybody does get quiet though so let me stop uh, <laughs> no man we agree with you yeah. we're, yeah. we're, yeah. we're, yeah. we're on the same we're on page, page. Oh, yeah. right. cool yeah. I just wanted, to, just wanted to make sure. I, I love how you bring it around. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at yeah. the chat, Sister Puller writes, mm -hmm. women may have been marginalized by the society, mm -hmm. but Jesus reached out to the silent sufferers and the unnoticed ones. Silent and Definitely, unnoticed. Definitely, Sister Puller. That's correct. Yeah. She yeah. dropped That's in the gem. Sister yes. Del um, D'Angelo writes, if we look at it closely, women were trail trailblazers. Mm -hmm. and I feel honored. I said that. I feel yes. honored. Yes, yes. yes. I think I might have been listening to her. <laughs> and she adds, um, she used to think like this, but the more she read, the more she saw how powerful women were. Mm -hmm. um, Elder John Phillips writes, the Messiah was promised through a woman. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's right. So I totally so agree, Elder yeah. so, Phillips. So, so, this, that. Yeah, so I think that this was being, um, this was, this ties into to what, um, to what D'Angelo had said, because the idea that women were trailblazers mm -hmm. and, and women are trailblazers, the issue that we're having, no, you know, we can't help but look, and, and that's the beauty of the Bible, you know, and, and that's one of the reasons why I think it's divine. It's not just that God wrote it, 
you know, through the agency of the Holy Spirit, through men that were moved. But it's because the Bible has an intricate way of showing our, our character, all of it, the good, the bad, the ugly, and it just laid out right there. Better than any other human author has been able to capture the full gamut of, of human experiences and emotions. So, um, oh, so I'm, I, I guess that we have a verse to read. Who hath believed the report, and to whom is the, ar the arm of the Lord revealed? Women. <laughs> but it's true. <laughs> so, so, so that. But just to sum up this, this, this lady, the women who supported Jesus' ministry, Mary Magdalene yeah. and all of Joanna, those and Joanna and Susanna, they demonstrated their strength and their worth by providing, providing. for Jesus and his disciples. It not necessarily mean food, right. you right. know, but they, so they provided a support system. And if we should look in the Bible, um, Priscilla, Aquila, mm -hmm. and, and all those women folk who opened their doors uh -huh. so that the church could thrive, that's mm -hmm. one. And then outside of that now, you might see also where the seller of purple, that was one, oh, yeah. and then separate from that, what's her name? I can't remember her name. You know. Tell but the story. What we, see, what, we see, what we see these ladies doing now is who isn't opening up their homes to, to, to build churches. They are calling disciples and saying, listen, this is not how the gospel is going. You know. This is how you should teach. Look in Timothy, for example, yeah. when they called, I think it was Barnabas, they called one side, and they were schooling him, two women, they were schooling him and saying, this is how the thing is. So they were always trailblazers. It's just that sometimes, I think it's our pride and our ego. And, and in this day and age, yes. everybody's yes, pride and, and everybody's ego. You know, so welcome to the club. Because you, know, you have egos, you know what they call it, pride. So no, it's, it's everything meshing together, why we have that. So yes, the Messiah was promised. Uh, oh, so John again, Priscilla, Loy, Chloe, Mary, Salome, <laughs> Abigail, Nabal's wife. Yeah. You John know. seems to have so, all of them because it's something so, that he's been championing. And then he says that the Bible does not cover human flaws. It shows the total picture, good True. or bad. And that's one of the beauty about the Bible. That's Unfortunately for us, it makes us see. Well, unfortunately for us and our narcissistic ways, it allows us to see that we are crosses. We, yeah. I don't and think that's unfortunate. I think it is No, very no, that's fortunate. why I was for us who are, for, for the narcissistic parts of us, mm -hmm. you know. So that's what we have to look at. And, oh, and we hear hmm. Queen Vashti. <laughs> Queen Vashti. <laughs> Queen Vashti blundered. Big she time. blundered. Um, she blundered. Her thing is, you, you can't. Disrespect. As a woman, you should never try to be a man. Mm -hmm. And as a man, I will say it a little harder. Don't dare try and be a woman. You know, these are two, these things are unique. All right. It doesn't mean that I can't support Erica or Jessica, nor can they support me, but I can't be them. So, and, and the world that we're living in now, we are hearing that, oh, this is a social construct. And so even if it's a social construct, it's tethered to something biological and something that was ordained by God. Right. All right. And we have been talking here. I feel like we just started talking. Right. But, okay. But, <clears throat> I won't say what I just saw. So um, you can you can you can continue, um, Sister Chanel. All right. So we've been talking a lot, and I'm enjoying the conversation. I must talking say. A lot. Um, and, but is there anything that we can learn about the worth of women from Jesus' interaction with Mary and Martha? Are there any lessons we can pull from that? A whole lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And I, for one. You know, the, my thoughts here are going to be very controversial. Mm -hmm. I read the word and I read what Jesus said. <laughs> but, but I don't know if it's because when I was younger, I had to wash the dishes. And this Mary and Martha situation is like the dishes are there to be washed. Mary know that she must help to wash the dishes and she run gone <laughs> yeah she run gone mm -hmm. and leave the dishes them on martha martha said listen i need help washing the dishes 
and the, Jesus beat the mummy. He said, no man, she doing her homework and the homework of going by to and homework important. Yes. So you wash the, the dishes. dishes. Will always be the dishes always dishes will always be there. So, so. No, but the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> the dishes. So, it's also important, yeah. you but know? I think, I think what he's saying, you know, um, and how, how I see it is that, yes, it's important, but it's not urgent. And okay. as managers, as managers, you both can agree that you have things that are urgent but are not important. And Jesus doesn't come and by for a visit every exactly. day. Exactly. So it's not yes. every day so, you want to see yes. with me. So, yes. so Jesus is so, here now. Yes. Left the plate them. But the thing is. And Jesus yeah. being Jesus, he's never wrong. No, he's <laughs> never wrong. I tell you, never wrong. <laughs> But the difference is, it's not just about washing dishes. Mm -hmm. Mar Martha's concern was for Jesus yeah. and the rest of the people. They've been out all day. They're hungry. And when we're at, when, when, okay, say we go out on the street to do campaign, to hand out mm -hmm. bars and talk to people and stuff. Some persons are going to stay back at church, mm -hmm. provide soup or refreshments mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. When they come back, Say for example, there's nothing there. Everybody's asking, you have water? We're not, we're you have water? Enough. You have what? So it is somebody, important. It is right, just it is important. Just, it is it's important. But, it's not but uh, when you have However, a guest at home, somebody <coughs> has to cater to the guest or for the guest. I agree. No. I, I think so, I agree. the urgency in this situation is go on, that go on. even though it is important and you're looking out for the, the health, we're in health mm -hmm. emphasis, we, the health of the, the person of Jesus Christ and his followers, the fact of the matter is just like Jessica said, Jesus doesn't come here every day. Yeah. And whatever he says, mm -hmm. it is more important than food right now. Listen, so, let's so, just, just so literally. More. When he's finished, well, sure, you have some apple around there, yeah. you have some mm -hmm. bread, you can just quickly cut so, it up and, as you go. <laughs> Chanel, I'm looking for you to come onto my side now, Barty. <laughs> Based on what you have just said, all right? One thing is needful, as in what, all things are important yes. at right. this point, but one thing is needful, and Mary hath chosen that good That's part, right. which right. shall not be taken away from her. When Jesus was out there with the disciples, oh, by the way, that's Luke 10, 40, 42, all right? Mm -hmm. So when Jesus was out and he was, he was um, teaching and preaching on the hillside, and him said, boy, he, it says he had compassion on them. Mm -hmm. And he used five fish? No. Okay. Two fish. Two fish. And, and five, five so, loaves. So, so put it in today. We'll put our 2024 in this and this now. For those of you who are afraid of gluten. So gluten-free bread. <laughs> and vegan okay. fish. And so, vegan. So two sprat. <laughs> so two sprat and five gratto. Right, John? Mm. Hint, hint. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is, so, so two spread and five grotto mm -hmm. and he fed he got 12 basket from the crumbs you know mm -hmm. and he fed how many thousand people so 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 sometimes and and just as d'angelo said we can be so busy with doing stuff that we miss the thing that matters most yes. the relationship this is true and that's yes. what we so yeah. jesus yeah. is saying this is what you need to pay attention to all right so you you are always involved and this is sometimes we go to church and you know, we're busy doing church work mm -hmm. that we miss out on the work on church, church. the work of the church so when paul gave that admonition to say boy you know i am I fear that I might be doing all of this and then I might end up being a castaway. We have to be careful, we have to be mindful and that's why we have to hold ourselves delicate and hold balance. each other accountable because it's a delicate balance to be struck. Yes. All right? So, so if so, we were to change that scene then, mm -hmm. how, how, could, how could we have played it out to make it more balanced? As in with Mary and Martha? Yes, because both areas are important. But not both things are urgent. So everybody Remember wants to sit down and when, listen to Jesus, yes. and then when somebody said, oh, you have nothing we worry about oh, that. we have some, some grapes and some figs no. and some dates on it. Let's just so, get it. Yeah, because what will happen you know, is that, listen, we we'll never prepare all of them things here, Jesus, because we're busy I listen to what you say, because right. it's nice teaching hot. Right. So we can 
Mary, you can come help me now. Because we just don't, everybody just don't, you know, say, so what, what, what could have happened is that Martha could have spent some time at Jesus' feet mm -hmm. and then asked to be excused a little to go yeah. and finish. Oh, finish. Oh, when it finished, there's nothing that says that they had to get mm -hmm. it as soon she, as they were finished. So what was Mary talking about so we couldn't wait a little bit? Jesus, I don't know what to talk about. Jesus at all. Oh, Jesus. And Mary okay. listened. Oh. Okay. So Mary was sitting okay. there and Mary was hanging on to everyone. Absorbed. Yes. Like, okay. Seriously, yeah. Jesus? Sometimes some people okay. preach at church okay. and you're not okay. even okay. aware okay. that they're preaching yeah. now for 45 I minutes. Mean. <laughs> you, you're not aware of all think, the nothing matter because they stopped. Jesus had to say to go and um, stand on yes. his feet. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. So and, and this this reinforces the Angelo's mm -hmm. point. Nathaniel said that we can be so busy with doing stuff that we yeah. miss the relationship. That's correct. So so that's it. But then John four thirty two, mm -hmm. but he said unto them, I have meat to eat that ye know not of. Uh -huh. So he said, Jesus, beg a piece of meat where I have no please. <laughs> that is why we say Provide us this day or daily bread. bread. No, more, you, have to, you can't just say that so fast and so low. You have to say it slow and a little higher. But the other thing, too, I, I, I came across something in Luke. Mm -hmm. It says, Worry not what you're going to eat. It lists a lot of things. Some things. <coughs> the ravens, mm -hmm. the, 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 the grass. And then it, it talks about your height. Mm -hmm. Which well, one are you by getting anxious, like, like Sister Erica, who is vertically challenged? <laughs> Which one of us can worry about, oh my goodness, I'm short, I need to be a little bit taller, and then we just add stuff to our height. You, you, platform shoes. Yes, but you must come out of them though. Yeah. And what the Lord is saying, you cannot worry about any of these things, because you, whether or not you worry, you cannot do anything to add it um, to yourself. Yeah. But if you who are a, just a human being, know that you need these things, you don't think your father know. The very hairs on your head he knows. Don't you think he knows this about you? And so he said, don't worry about that. And those are your needs. You need food and you need clothing. Yeah. Yes? Mm -hmm. And he says, don't worry about that. Seek first the kingdom yeah. of heaven. And then all of those things, all your needs will be added to you. But then yeah. it goes further and he says, listen, my father takes pleasure in giving you the kingdom. When I saw that, I was like, whoa. So, so everything your needs and your wants are already met. So, so Erica, you are saying we should what we should take from what you're saying is that we don't get the kingdom because we are busy trying to get everything else and then to look for the kingdom when God is saying get the kingdom first mm -hmm. because it's my pleasure to give you right. this. Yes. And yes. if you have gotten this, you will literally have all that you need. Correct. So we are busy trying to meet our wants then. Mm -hmm. That we neglect our needs. Th so Mary was busy trying to meet her wants and her needs were left on me. Not Mary, Martha. <clears throat> yes. I wonder what Jessica has to say about that. No, nope, and I agree. I'm, I'm taking okay, okay. it all in. No, okay, man. okay, okay, okay. I, okay. I, I am, I'm right there with you guys. Okay. Yes. So, uh, mm -hmm. oh, what are you trying to, okay. Um, I'm seeing Sister Polo right. The role that Mary assumed seemed not consistent with the cultural norms of the day. But Jesus was saying she can be a disciple or an elder. Okay. Um, Brother Cohen has joined the chat and he wrote, <laughs> wasn't Rebecca that deceived Isaac? Wasn't it Rebecca that <laughs> deceived Isaac? Rachel that lied to Laban and Delilah that betrayed Samson? Even Miriam that opposed Moses? Yes, it didn't. Yes, it didn't make her listen. Those things. things. What's right. the point of? Mm -hmm. um, and Elder John writes, Martha's faith was very strong and a good student of the word. Mm -hmm. Look at the conversation with Jesus when Lazarus died, and he points us to John eleven verses twenty to twenty-five. Sister Opal Gordon also joins us and writes and says good night, everyone. In the case of Mary and Martha. I believe Jesus was showing that our salvation is of vital importance. Right. You will always have housework to do, mm -hmm. but you won't always have salvation. Amen. Um, that's a point. Yes, yes. That is it. So she's echoing the same thing that D'Angelo and uh, eventually um, Jessica. <laughs> so, so yes. Um, and the importance of 
prioritizing yes. spending time in his presence. Yeah. Spending time in his presence is a priority. I th- I think simply put. I think if we if we yeah. I'm, and I'm not given I'm not overtly giving up club to our church, but if we should follow um, the structure of our church and and what we believe in terms of Sabbath and you're preparing for Sabbath and all of that, mm-hmm. we would be far more organized in our daily lives because our understanding and what we oftentimes preach is that when Sabbath ends, you start preparing for the but other one. So you put okay. everything, so oh. everything that you do is in anticipation of going into God's presence again, with again. God's yeah. people right. again. So your, your Saturday night, your Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then preparation day, Friday, when it comes, you're pretty much just ensuring that all the, the, all the I's have been dotted and the T's have been I crossed, mean, you know? Yeah. So that's it. So. Um, we, we have gotten a Q verse, um, John eleven twenty, that says, Then Martha, as soon as she has heard that Jesus was coming, went and met him. But Mary sat still in the house. Because <laughs> so, this is reinforcing what John had said, that even though Martha did that, she was still a very ardent Bible student. Yeah. And we saw it based on the discussions that, that he had. Um, that Jesus would have had with Martha afterward. So it doesn't, we don't want you to leave thinking that um, she was somehow less than her sister as far yeah. as her understanding and grasping of the mm-hmm. word is just it was just to illustrate something that sometimes we are preoccupied with things that are not as important as we make them out to be right. and it's not that washing dishes weren't important it's just that at this point in time this is not as important as you think it is mm-hmm. and so again back to what sister jessica said we need to learn to prioritize now we need to pay attention to what is important and urgent that's it. Yes. But you know, that John eleven twenty is a very provocative verse, you know, in that Martha actually went out to meet Jesus. But mm-hmm. by the time he got in the house, she missing, she gone. <laughs> no, so it shows how we have to be careful we don't get this we, we don't get distracted. Yeah. Because we start off on the right path and then something happened to distract us. And before you know it, you know, we don't mm-hmm. even realize that we got distracted. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that that verse is very loaded. Yeah. And, and in the chat again, I, I know that we are fresh out of time. Um, I'm not sure if any of you noticed it, but I was somehow <laughs> reminded that I am happy that you're <laughs> not. <laughs> Jesus, yes. <laughs> no, we are feasting on his word. So, right. so Godfrey, Godfrey said that um, seek ye first the kingdom, so he, et- he echoed exactly what you had said. Mm-hmm. And then, no, um, Nathaniel said that this can be said, speaking of the Sabbath comment that we made, this mm-hmm. can be said for how we do Sabbath. So many activities that most times we don't even no. spend time at Amen. Jesus' feet. Amen. You know, so, and then John that's asked, another study. you know, where, yeah, that's another Jesus. study. Where did Martha go? She go inside, John. She go mm-hmm. somewhere else. She probably gone walking out the kitchen. But that's another story for another time. <laughs> so, Martha went into the kitchen, man. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, so, I wonder if we can make for 10 more minutes, though. <clears throat> um, I'm hoping we can pray for more time yes. um, and see, see what will happen. Mm-hmm. But because I think, I think the whole idea of the, the women, the women, the, the question that came to mind is the women at the tomb. Um, the women at the tomb on Easter morning, mm-hmm. you know, how does that show their strength um, and resilience? I, I would start by segueing to say that the invariably fulfilled a particular um, you can call it prophecy if you want but something happened they bore witness mm-hmm. um, and when you look for example in Deuteronomy 1915 where it says that let every word um, one person shall not stand witness against an individual right. it has to okay. be two, two or, or three, three. Mm-hmm. all right so when it wasn't a coincidence that three women went there Mm. Three women. I saw that yeah, yeah, that's three true. women went to to the um and oh it's on your screen now. One witness shall not rise up against yes. a man for any iniquity. 
or any sin in any sin that he sinned at the at the mouth of two or, or three, three witnesses all right shall the matter be established mm -hmm. now when they went first of all we know that Je Jesus was buried in Joseph of Arimathea's tomb. Mm -hmm. We know that the signet was placed on it, it was sealed. Right. And now, it could not have been said, let's say that Mary was the only one that was there. There's no corroborative um, no, evidence. Right. There's no substance that she could have colluded with somebody. Mm -hmm. You know, I just make up a story. But because three of them didn't know, all right, we are sure that he was dead we are sure that he was in the tomb mm -hmm. and we're sure that when they went they saw an open tomb and him come out i know a young man was in there that says that was not jesus not here, right? <laughs> and then a young man spoke to them <laughs> and said that he is not, not here. here all right you know but, but <laughs> very important yeah. yes so so just answering the first question and this last one is that Jesus' interaction with Mary and Martha showed that he valued their friendship their friend, and their yes, discipleship yes. Yeah. and recognized their worth as individuals. And you can find that through Luke and, and John. For example, in Luke 10, 38 to 42, you don't have to, um, well, you can just pause it and repeat and then you'll hear that verse. Or you can look at John 11, 20 to 27. But for the women now at the tomb on Easter morning, they showed their strength and their resilience by going to the tomb mm -hmm. despite the risks despite the risks uh, this, yes. despite the risks yes. 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 and their devotion to jesus was rewarded with the news of mm -hmm. his resurrection see mark 16 mm -hmm. 1 to 8 because if you look at it you know um simon he was just happy he was just he just happened to be there and he ended up carrying the cross Mm -hmm. The object of scorn and shame, by the way. Mm -hmm. That's one man. Then two, Peter. He nearly dead because, you know, I said, wait, aren't you one of his disciples? I don't know the guy. And he went as far as to just use some expletives that would be uncommon of someone who they have seen with Christ. And then Judas, we know what Judas did. Mm. Yeah. All right, so we saw, and then in spite, and then remember, you know, they plucked out Jesus' beard, they beat him, mm -hmm. they, they spat on him, they did all of those things. You know, so his followers were subsequently being ridiculed. Mm -hmm. So for them now, for them Jesus. to get up and walk out, so they're going to look for Jesus now, because the season they're going to, sorry, they're going to finish the, the burial process, the embalming, the embalming and all of that, oh, season. Him. So, you know, they went with the spices and, that, and he wasn't there. They took a risk when they did that. They did. Yeah, they, they, they a took a risk. risk, you know. So, um, yeah, because Jesus' resurrection was the biggest news at that time. Yes, man. Mm -hmm. And it's a high security risk. <laughs> because well, yeah. you know, before, before we get to the resurrection, in. remember that they had posted sentinels, they, they posted um, security personnel mm -hmm. at the yeah. sentries at the at the tomb. Yes. Yeah. So and they knew this. And this, so going there, said, they really case, were taking a risk. adventure. They come and steal his body. body right. <laughs> and right. That, that shows that the, the mindset that they have. They didn't care. Mm -hmm. Just in case. Right. They are going, going we for are their going Lord. for their Lord. Can I tell him? I, I want water. to see my Lord. Uh, so. it, it shows something too. <clears throat> um, when women make up their minds, when we make up our minds to do something, a lot of the times only the good Lord can come down and tell us not to do it. We know that. Mm -hmm. okay. We know that. We know that. And, Eve and, was an example of that. <laughs> You know, it was, it was tricked, it was tricked in this problem. <laughs> but, but that's true. Um, but the thing is, you know, you see, it, it, it speaks to it speaks to the resolve that that as human beings we can possess. Mm. Um, and it shows again that it reinforces the point from scripture that we are equal, but it also reinforces the point that equal is not sameness. No. Mm -hmm. You know, I, no. I have to figure out how to play to your strengths and, and see how I can leverage some of the weaknesses that you have. You know, because sometimes if I exploit some of your weaknesses, we might do better. And if you exploit some of my weaknesses, I, we again might do better. So it's just to see how we can play to each other's strengths and weaknesses. That's, but that's women it. are extra special though. Yeah, and, and men are extra special too. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I feel that we are we're in that. In that you were made for us then. 
Yes, and the system that was set up was that for us to be provided for. Yeah, so you to be to cared be, for. Mm -hmm. Yes. To be, kept to be cherished. Mm -hmm. You know, to be treated with uh, tenderness. Well, Don't worry, yes, leave her, let too. you go. Mm, leave her, <laughs> let her but go. But you know where I see our specialness? Mm -hmm. God looked at man and he was sad. No, who was sad? Man. Oh, yeah. He was yeah. sad and the Lord said, it is not good. That was the only time oh. the Lord said about his creation, it is not, not good. good. So and so he created this so special day exactly. to bring <laughs> us joy right. and happiness to come your life. To yes, be, we are. So, 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 so <laughs> all right, let me agree. We are so, 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 yes, so, yes. Women, so, women are in spark. Let, let's say that women are special. Extra. They extra, extra special. Right. They were made to be our helpmate. Yes. No. Yeah. What does that mean? That's another what study. What does that you're not able to think straight without us? <laughs> oh, okay. No, no, that's not what it means. <laughs> it means that I don't want to think without you. Because remember, you know, when God confronted, when God confronted Adam and Eve, that was the first time a man could him couldn't tell the truth. You know, him literally he could not. Well, he did not want to tell the truth. That's a better And you see how we still know me not so with mine we still throw you under the bus. The other mm -hmm. part that I see there is that but, when we are faced with our, our backs against the wall, women will fess up, but the man will always look for somebody else to blame. True. Not necessarily. Did you realize that Adam blamed two persons in that scenario? He blamed God and he blamed the woman. Not at, at no point did he, he say, you know, Lord. You know what? I know, I know that the time is up, you know. They should have just stopped <laughs> yeah. it. But separate from that, let me just go back okay. to Genesis 3. No, let's go back to you Genesis 3. You like to take us to Genesis. Yes. Yeah, yes. Back to the no beginning. So, so what we want to reinforce oh, to you guys, you know, if, if you ever doubt the veracity of the Bible. No, we don't have to look at the veracity of the Bible. Everything that you need to know about the Bible, the first three chapters of the Bible, tells us what God's plan was for us and what was perfect, and then it shows what happened, what went wrong to, mm -hmm. to, to, to blight, put a blight on that perfection, and then from Genesis 3, 17 onwards, it's just showing us how God is putting everything together to ensure that we go back to that space. That's one. Second thing now, all the doctrines for Christianity, Everything that we want to find, Genesis 1 to 11, we'll find all of them there. Every precedent that you think of, you can find it there. But that's another story. But when we look at Genesis, no, Genesis 3, then 7, both of the eyes of them were open and they knew that they were naked and they sewed fig leaves. God don't know. The Lord called and said, where are you? And he said, I heard your voice in the garden. I was afraid because I was naked. I hid myself. And he said, who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree which I commanded you? The man said, well, the woman who you gave to me, she gave me of the tree and I ate. Not All right, so he fine. asked for. No, he never asked me nobody. He didn't ask for anybody still. <laughs> I was sad. I didn't ask for anybody. I was so Why were you sad? Anybody no, like the Lord knows no, our heart. Because the thing is, you know, I think... He didn't so, see anybody He like reads him. the heart. And so he read the heart. And but, in his heart, but the, woman the said, desire was the woman, for... Yeah, okay. yeah. But the woman, yeah. no. Look at this now. And the Lord woman? said to the woman, because she never had like such a face up, no special facing up one. What is it that you have done? And the woman said, My God, the serpent deceived me and I ate. So the Lord said to her, or to the serpent, That is true, but, that is true. He deceived it. But it. What Adam, but Adam her. never tell a lie either. The Lord, what was the original? Let's go back. What was the original question I God think, asked? I, <laughs> <laughs> How convenient. No, 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 no. No, it said, have you eaten from the tree which I commanded you that you should not eat? And the answer was, as a yes or no question. No. But yes, it is. No, it was yes, a yes or no for the woman I either. Have. Do, do, look, look, and yes. he's, the Lord said to the woman, what is it that you have done? And she told him. All right. Yeah. But the man, the man, the man the literally man said yes to you. No, know? not literally the at all. The woman that you gave me. He went around the mulberry. No, because he was, remember, you know, a text without a context is a pretext. 
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. We have been having a very insightful study um, right here. <laughs> and I'm trying to quit while I'm ahead. Because, so, um, in the spirit of, of, of camaraderie, we just want to thank <laughs> my two ladies to be, for being here on screen with me. Um, and also Chanel for being right there mediating in or on behalf of the ladies. Um, so, <laughs> so that's it. But um, I am I am hopeful that you would have enjoyed the study tonight. Um, a lot was said. A lot was said and I sincerely hope that you will take the opportunity to at least look back at what we have done, what we have said, so that you can write down some of the Bible verses that we have shared with you. And if you have any queries, any comments or concerns, please feel free to share the same with us so that we'll be able to, to add more value to what has been done here. I'm going to ask Sister Erica to pray to close us off and then we'll just give you the final comments and then we're out of here. Dear God, pray for us all. I thank you for seeing the value in each and every one of us, both male and female. I pray that as we leave these sessions, Lord, that we will take to heart your words that says we are chosen and we are called and we are royal. And so we'll behave like that and treat each other the way you treat us. Thank you for hearing and answering our prayers. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. So until next time, I am Kwame Thomas and I was joined by sisters Erica Beecher, Jessica Jones and Chanel Phillips. Until next time, do have yourselves a blessed rest of week. And I leave with you Proverbs 4.18 that says the path of the just is like a shining light which shines ever brighter until the new day or until the dawning of a new day. Have yourselves a wonderful rest of evening.